Back in 2008, Sony quietly released one of the weirdest, most underrated features on the PlayStation 3. That was Life with the PlayStation. Now, if you guys have been subscribed to me for a while or if you're new, you might have seen that I made a video about this back in December of 2024. I covered Sony's forgotten service, Life with PlayStation. It gave you global news, live weather, and it even let your PlayStation help cure diseases through folding at home. That's because of how powerful the processor was inside the PS3 at the time. And now Sony low key just brought it back, sort of. But this time it's not about protein folding, it's about climate change. If you want to know more about the life with PlayStation service that was on the PS3, I highly recommend that you check out my video, Sony's Forgotten Service. In that video, I do a deep dive on life with PlayStation and explain everything top to bottom. For the sake of time and this video, I'll give you a quick rundown of what life with PlayStation was back on the PlayStation 3. Back in 2008, it turned your console into a spinning globe where you could check real-time weather, browse news headlines, and even contribute to scientific research through folding at home. It wasn't a game, it was more like a chill, futuristic dashboard that quietly gave the PS3 a sense of purpose beyond just gaming and entertainment. Unfortunately, on November 6th of 2012, Life with PlayStation would permanently go offline. In my humble opinion, these kind of features are what make the PlayStation 3 shine the most. This and PlayStation Home. But that's another topic for another video for another time. Now we fast forward to 2025 and Sony just dropped Climate Station, a completely free app for the PS5 and PSVR2 users. Climate Station allows you to go through 120 years of climate data, real-time weather simulation, and future scenarios of planet Earth. When we look back and we compare Life with PlayStation to Climate Station, Life with PlayStation offered weather, news, protein folding, it had a beautiful PS3 interface, and it was idle, but it was meaningful. Now we fast forward to Climate Station, which has weather, climate data, and global projections, and it's also supported by the VR2, which is cool for immersiveness. I find this really neat because in 2025, where the gaming industry is in shambles right now, PlayStation decides to offer an app that is beyond gaming. Sony went out of their way to prove that the PlayStation 3 and now the PS5 is more than just a console. Climate Station is more than just an app though, it's Sony using its platform to push awareness in a hands-on and modern way, especially with the support of PlayStation VR 2. Especially for the kids and the children out there and teens that use the PlayStation 5 console, now they have an app that can teach them about how weather and how we affect the climate of the planet. If you grew up with the PS3 and life with PlayStation, this feels like a full circle moment and this is very exciting. Now this also might be a hot take, but I think it's features like this that keep the players engaged on the PlayStation besides hit single player experiences or big AAA titles. Climate Station leverages real world climate data from NASA, NOAA, the IPCC, and global observation networks, data that scientists around the world trust and use. It's fully funded by Sony under its Road to Zero sustainability initiative, and it's built in collaboration with the UN's Playing for the Planet Alliance. It's basically big corporate and global environmental backing to bring climate science to your living room. I ended up downloading it last night after coming home from hanging out with some friends. As soon as you open it, it gives you a tutorial on how to use the Climate Station interface. You can focus on one specific part of the world, more specifically a city, and then you can see all the weather changes from 1901 all the way up until now. It shows you real data of how the temperature has changed in the atmosphere of that part of the world, what kind of natural disasters took place, how hot it's been, how cold it's been. It even shows how the ice age affected the climate today. Not only that, it's actually tracking real storms in real time that's across the ocean and across the earth. Even for example, you could focus on Los Angeles and you can see from 1901 until now what was the hottest years and what was the coldest years. It even shows real data about how fossil fuels have affected our climate. It shows data about how the ocean uh, cools off the planet and sometimes even heats up the planet. They have an explorer library as well so that way you can focus on one part of the climate. Uh, you could focus on temperature, you can focus on carbon dioxide, you could focus on the ice age, you can focus on the greenhouse gases, you can focus on a lot of things here. It even shows how the sun affects the climate across the whole entire world. This app is packed with science, data, real-time weather updates, real-time updates on global warming, climate change, and the burning of fossil fuels, you name it. It has all of that packed into one app to keep you updated in real time. And we get a glimpse into the past to see how things have changed from 1901 all the way up until now. That's about 120 years of information packed into one app. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely going to be using Climate Station when I'm done playing a long session of Helldivers 2. And don't even get me started on Helldivers 2. That game is amazing. I don't know what people are talking about, but Helldivers 2 is fun. 
fun. I don't know about y'all, but Helldivers 2 was really fun. I don't know what they were talking about when the game came out. Helldivers 2 was amazing. Probably one of the most funnest multiplayer games I played with my friends. Love the chaos. Love the destruction. I love the... It, th this video is not about Helldivers. This is about Climate Station. Let me get back to the point, my lord. Now, I don't have a PlayStation VR headset, unfortunately, because I am broke, but I'm rich in spirit. We're gonna manifest that. But if anybody has used the PlayStation VR with Climate Station, please let me know in the comments down below how it feels, what it's like, what the user interface is like, and does it really feel immersive? Another funny thing about this is that when this came out, I immediately told my friend, and he was like, bro, I really think that somebody at Sony saw your video about life with PlayStation, and they low-key brought it back. Like, they're low-key peeping your channel. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I'm not gonna a lie deep down inside i kind of felt like damn what if they did see my video loki like that would be so sick and like they decided to bring it back so if you guys did see my video and if somebody from sony is watching this video you know what you need to do next it's playstation home time it's playstation home time we have playstation vr we have the metaverse that you guys built years ago bring it back this is the time this is the time for playstation home i want to show off my furniture i want to show off my apartment i want to go uh, hang out with my friends at the mall like we used to do back in the day I think Sony needs to bring it back. I think somebody at Sony knows that too. Somebody out there knows that. Some, someone there has probably been pitching this idea and they're looking at him like, bro, you say that again, you're going to get fired. Now, I know that was a side tangent, but I'm just really passionate about things like that. So life with the PlayStation was really dope and PlayStation Home was amazing as well. So who knows? But hopefully they bring it back. But the main point of this video was Climate Station. And I think it's cool because we just haven't seen nothing like this in a really, really, really long time. And in an era of video gaming where everything feels so dry, Sony just decides to drop this banger of an app out of nowhere. So so that's that's cool in my book that's awesome i mean with the rumors of the ps6 being around the corner in 2027 and that we have a playstation handheld coming out soon i don't know we have the playstation portal right now but i don't know how well actually 30 percent of more players say they like playing their portal more than being on the console i don't know i don't know so maybe it is time for another handheld to you know launch alongside the playstation 6 but i guess we'll see but my point is i, I love when sony does things like this because it shows that not only do they care about video games, but they care about other ways that their console is utilized. And this is another example of that years and years later. Now, I could go on and on and on yapping, yapping, yapping about the PlayStation 3 and life of the PlayStation and PlayStation Home. But my point is that it's it's easy to think of PlayStation as just a place for games. But every so often, Sony reminds us that their consoles can be more than that. Back in the PS3 era, it was life with the PlayStation. Now with Climate Station, they're using the power of the PS5 to educate inform and engage people on real world issues in a way that actually sticks it's free it's immersive and it shows that even the smallest features the ones that don't get big headlines can leave a lasting impact and i just want to say that to me this is a massive dub for sony huge 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 w's in the chat for sony this is the kind of stuff that i'm talking about that makes me more excited to own my playstation 5 now if you had a ps3 back in the day and you remember using life with playstation please let me know what that experience is like for you down in the comments or if you just had a PlayStation 3 in general, what was that experience like having, you know, Ludovic Planet and God of War and Call of Duty and all the games that we were playing back then? Now, if you're new here, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. And if you're still watching, thank you for sticking around this far. So if you enjoyed it, please leave a like, a comment, or if you didn't like the video, even that, just let me know down below in the comments. I often make videos like this and I try to post as consistently as possible talking about the PlayStation, a little bit of nostalgia in there, and even covering niche gaming topics and just stuff that I'm really into when it comes to video games and maybe some stuff about music in the future. But if you stuck around this long, I really appreciate it. Now, let's just pray and hope that Sony is working on PlayStation Home. Okay, 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 I'll shut up, I'll shut up. But let's just pray, right, right, right? Let's see, let's see, we'll see. PlayStation Home, I don't know. But thank you for watching this far. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please enjoy the rest of your day.